Hello, everyone. Welcome to join the cross-border e-commerce online training course. I'm a teacher from Zhejiang Technical Institution of Economics. Today, we will learn the Chapter Four, Section One, the introduction of AliExpress. This lesson mainly includes the following contents. First, AliExpress business creation, traffic data, main customer countries, commissions. Registration preparations, prohibited and restricted products. Second, the advantages and disadvantages of selling on AliExpress. Third, AliExpress stores operation points. AliExpress is a popular online store for buying products as at much cheaper price than Amazon and other similar platform. It was founded in 2010 and is owned by Alibaba, a famous Chinese multinational company focusing on e-commerce and computing. Anna is one of the world's largest internet companies. AliExpress is the e-commerce retail platform of Alibaba, serving buyers from all over the world. This picture is the main data metrics of AliExpress. Currently, AliExpress is open to users from all major regions around the world. It offers alternative language versions of its websites and smartphone apps in English, Russian, Portuguese, Spanish, French, German. Italian, Dutch, Turkish, Japanese, Korean, Thai, Vietnamese, Arabic, Hebrew, and Polish. AliExpress is now covers 220 countries around the world, and the number of users has exceeded 140 million. Female users and those aged 25 to 34 are the main customers. Support more than. Forty local payment channels. It ranks first in the numbers of download of shopping apps in more than hundred countries around the world. It is China's biggest cross-border ex export B two C retail platform, covering all countries and regions of the Belt and Road. Now let's talk about the main user countries of AliExpress. AliExpress has always been price oriented. Sellers must have some price advantages to attract buyers. But product quality is also important. The market positioning is mainly in developing countries and underdeveloped countries. Among more than 220 countries, Russia, Brazil, the United States, Spain, France, Ukraine, Israel, Belarus, Canada, and New Zealand. Have become the top ten countries with the strongest purchasing power. Next, let's take a look at the app ranking of AliExpress. Ranked first in forty-three countries in, in Apple's iOS shopping list. Ranked first in thirty-five countries in the Android shopping list. In the global app download rankings in January twenty twenty-one. AliExpress overall download ranked third in shopping apps, only to Wish and Amazon. It is among the top global shopping apps. AliExpress is China's biggest cross-border export B two C retail platform, covering all countries and regions of the Belt and Road Initiative. In 2020, 80 percent of buyers on AliExpress platform are from countries and regions along the Belt and Road. Consumers in these regions contribute to 80 percent of the order volume and 50 percent of the transaction value of AliExpress platform. Next, let's introduce the commissions of AliExpress. From this picture, we can also see that the sales commissions for most commodities are 8 percent of its price. Such as common clothing, accessories, beauty salons, sports, and ent entertainments. The sales commission for a small number of products is five percent of its product price, such as shoes, 3C digital, electronic products, mobile phones, computers, etc. 
This is similar to the Amazon platform. On Amazon, these like electronic products have the lowest commission rate as well. But these electronic products have relatively high barriers to entry, and they are generally branded companies such as Apple, Samsung, and Xiaomi. Next, let's talk about which products can be sold on AliExpress. As shown in the figure, the products that can be sold on AliExpress are home appliances, men and women fashions, hair extensions and wigs, travel and luggage, education and office supplies, computer and accessories, sports and outdoors, beauty and personal care, mobile and gadgets, automotive. Jewelry and watches and furnitures. According to AliExpress prohibition and restriction rules, the goods shown in the pictures cannot be sold on AliExpress. As a cross-border e-commerce company under the Alibaba Group, AliExpress is also among the best in the ranking of global cross-border e-commerce companies. The benefits of opening a store on AliExpress are also very obvious. Mainly including the following: first, low startup costs. AliExpress offers a quick and affordable way to start selling products online. There's no need to pay anything until your customers start ordering things too. This means that there's minimal risk if your startup idea doesn't work out just the way you hoped. Second, flexibility. AliExpress products don't need to be operated brick and mortar store, which reduces their overhead significantly. You can sell from anywhere and increase your portfolio whenever you choose. Third, minimal overheads. AliExpress ensures that you have minimal overhead to worry about as you progress with your store too. You can sell thousands of products without having to invest into inventories or store management. You don't have to pay for any real estate or warehouses, and employee salaries. Everything you need is already stored for you on the other end. Fourth, versatility. The facility means that there is nothing to prevent you from running any kind of stores you choose as a business owner. As a consumer, you also have a lot of excellent purchased options to choose from, often for cheaper price that you will gain elsewhere. There are also some disadvantages when opening a store on AliExpress to sell goods, mainly as follows: first, highly competitive. For companies, AliExpress drop shipping isn't exactly a new thing. That means no matter what niche you choose to sell in, there are going to be a lot of other companies just like you, competing for the same shelves of the market. It's difficult to really make your business stand out this way. Third, shipping time. Shipping times are a problem that comes up over and over in AliExpress landscape. Customer orders are delivered from somewhere else in the world, so that the amount of time it takes to receive a product can be very high. So the amount of time it takes to receive a product can be very high. For low profit margins, unlike Amazon's majority of merchants sell products on AliExpress are based in China, and get all of their goods directly from Chinese manufacturers. This keeps costs down and means they can afford to offer free or very cheap shipping as well. AliExpress doesn't afford the best product margins. You can buy relatively cheap products from the marketplace, but your customers will expect you to sell those products at a low rate too. The quality of the items that you purchased. Will determine how much you can reasonable charge. That means cheap, but also means fierce competition. After understanding the advantages and disadvantages of AliExpress sales, then I will introduce how to register an AliExpress seller account, which mainly includes the following points: VAT number, 
company operating license, ID number of company legal representative. Please make sure that your company's contact information is up to date, email and telephone number, in order to be contacted if necessary. At present, AliExpress only accepts companies and individual entrepreneurs. After registering as an AliExpress seller, you are facing the problems of store operation. So, what should be done to do a good job in store operation? Next, let's introduce you one by one. First, meet the phone requirements and use high definition pictures. Customers who are going to buy want to be able to see details of the goods clearly. The second is to create detailed product descriptions. It is not enough to provide product specifications such as color, size, and raw materials. It is also necessary to provide a detailed descriptions of the product, such as the applicable season, age, gender, origin, etc. And do your best to make personalized descriptions so that the customers can benefit from these personalized descriptions. Third, pricing. Make your store highly priced competitive. For instance, you might find yourself and hundreds of other sellers offering the same product. In such a case, try to bring your price down to attract buyers. However, do so after making proper market research. AliExpress is backed by Alibaba Group. Alibaba's 1688.com and Taobao.com have a very large number of factories and distributors. AliExpress sellers can easily find high-quality and low-cost goods on these platforms. Fourth is promotion. Product promotion is essential for any business. Promotion your product or brand helps deliver its benefits to customers. Remember, well-designed promotion strategies bring in more customers, ensure profitability, and make for long-term business success. Promotions must continue to be done, and a variety of promotion activities can be used together. Because various promotions have their own characteristics and attractiveness, usually under the premise of ensuring the profits of products as much as possible, a combination of multiple promotion activities will be better. At that time, some products can even be promoted at a loss to attract traffic to the store. The、so、fifth is customer service. Provide better service for your customers; they will be more inclined to come to your store next time. The、so、sixth is fast logistic service. Quality, customer service, and logistics are the three dimensions of AliExpress Store's DSR Dynamic Scores. The logistic service should also attract the attention of sellers. Fast logistic service. Allows buyers to get the goods as soon as possible. AliExpress is a cross-border e-commerce platform. Buyers come from more than 220 countries and regions around the world. Transportation is through internet, air, sea, land, which is far away and has many barriers. The price of products on AliExpress are already very cheap, and if they can provide fast logistic services. They will be even more attractive to buyers across the world. In recent years, AliExpress has also actively encouraged and supported sellers to use local overseas warehouses for delivery, and the logistics speed is faster. Now let's sum up. In this lesson, we talked about below. First, AliExpress business creation, traffic data, main customer countries. Commissions, registration preparations, prohibited and restricted products. Second, the advantages and disadvantages of AliExpress. Third, AliExpress stores operation points. Tasks. First, share with us your shopping experience on AliExpress. Second, if you are a seller on AliExpress, which points is important for selling? Third. 
Grocery AliExpress website. That's the all for today's lesson. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.